3D programs aren't judged by how well they can model, sculpt, or light a scene. They're judged by how good they are at creating dynamic effects. Every 3D program can model, sculpt, light, texture, and animate, but not all of them can create impressive effects. So today, let's dive into the kind of dynamic effects Blender can pull off. Let's start with the simplest effects and gradually scale up to more complex ones. For instance, water ripples like this can be easily created using Blender's dynamic paint system. This is a powerful tool that can do much more than just ripples, if you're creative enough. This is just one example of its capabilities. If you're interested in learning how to make this, my colleague Top Channel One on One has a full tutorial on it. Essentially, you use objects as brushes, and when they interact with other objects, dynamic effects like waves, footprints, and more can be generated. You can also get an add-on like Easy Wake, which builds on this concept to create realistic oceans. It allows you to add speeding boats and ships that leave a wake with foam as they move, adding even more realism to your scenes. Have you ever wondered how to tear metal? A simple cloth setup with the right materials can do the trick. Just add some cuts to the cloth mesh using the knife tool, then apply a cloth simulation. You can animate a fist punching through the metal, and to make it look like metal instead of cloth, simply slow down the simulation significantly to mimic metallic deformation. A full tutorial is in the description as well. While this is a neat trick, if you want to create more complex metallic deformations combined with other VFX, RBD Lab is a one-of-a-kind add-on for Blender. It brings together various tools and solvers to give you top-tier VFX simulations, especially for RBD destruction effects. Sometimes, a single effect isn't enough to get the job done. You need to combine different systems to create something more complex. For example, in a boiling water simulation, you can generate bubbles using the particle system or geometry nodes, which get destroyed or deleted when they reach the surface. But before they touch the surface, you can use dynamic paint to displace the surface where the bubbles interact, making it look like boiling water in a kettle. Most of you learned Blender by following Blender Guru's famous donut tutorial, but did you fly the donut or did you eat it raw? You can actually make it fly using a few techniques, like emitting particles where the donut is and displacing the oil around them. These simple tricks can add a fun twist to your creations. Shape keys are commonly associated with tasks like lip syncing or creating realistic muscle deformations in character animation, but their potential goes far beyond that. They offer a versatile way to manipulate and transform objects, opening up endless possibilities for creative effects. For instance, you can use shape keys to smoothly morph a flower into a human face, adding a surreal, artistic element to your project. Or you can create a dynamic cave-in effect to gradually reveal a product, which is perfect for marketing visuals or product showcases. Another powerful use of shape keys is in blending between different mesh states, allowing for seamless transitions that would be difficult to achieve with other methods. They can be used to animate the movement of cloth, simulate organic deformations, or even add subtle tweaks to facial expression. If your 3D application can't handle fluid simulation, it's time to consider getting a new one, because you're missing out on a lot. Every 3D artist will at some point in their career encounter a project that requires fluid simulation, especially if you're working on commercials or VFX. Fluid simulation in Blender is one of the simplest things to get started with. However, if you want to elevate your simulations, whether it's splashes, waterfalls, rivers, or other water effects, to a more professional level, the Flip Fluids add-on is your best option. This add-on is ideal for those working on high-end projects that demand more realism and greater control over the behavior of fluids. Flip Fluids allows you to easily direct and control fluids with custom forces, offering a more refined foam simulation, bubbles, and even better materials. If you're looking for a reliable way to make your fluid simulations more dynamic and believable, this add-on will take your work to the next level. If you want to win over clients, mastering curves in Blender is essential. Curves are the pinnacle of animation and can be used in more ways than you might imagine. From creating a plant growing or fiber cables to faking fluid simulations, curves are tr truly the Swiss army knife of the 3D industry. Their versatility extends to areas like animating smooth movements, generating paths, 
and even simulating traffic or crowd movement. In fact, curves are widely used in add-ons like procedural crowds to simulate traffic and large-scale crowd animations with ease. Their flexibility and power make them an indispensable tool for any animator or 3D artist. Whether you're working on simple animations or complex simulations, curves can dramatically elevate the quality and efficiency of your work. If you can master curves, you'll find countless ways to apply them in your projects, impressing clients with dynamic and polished animations. Another dynamic effect you need to master to overwhelm your competition is rigid body dynamics. Surprisingly, it's not that hard to learn, and it allows you to create all sorts of destruction effects, like buildings collapsing or the ground caving in. It's the closest you'll get to real-world physics inside Blender. There are also several add-ons that enhance physics in Blender. For example, the Physical Placer add-on lets you easily throw objects around and scatter them in a realistic way without much setup. We've also mentioned the RBD Lab add-on, which is a more advanced alternative to Blender's built-in, rigid body system. RB Lab is more stable and makes fracturing objects much easier to control and direct, giving you even more power to create complex destruction effects with precision. Mastering these tools will set you apart in any VFFX or animation project. Then there's Geometry Nodes. When it was added to Blender, I knew things had changed right then and there. It combines everything we've talked about and enhances it. Curves, dynamic painting, instancing, particles, and more. This is what makes Blender capable of competing with the big players in the 3D industry. Thanks to Geometry Nodes, countless projects that seemed impossible before are now easily achievable. For instance, there's a city generator made possible by Geometry Nodes, which can generate entire city blocks down to street-level detail. If you're working on a project involving cities, you no longer need to worry about the monumental task of creating a city from scratch. Add to that procedural crowds to populate your streets and traffic add-ons to control the flow of vehicles, and you've got a complete dynamic environment in no time. Geometry nodes unlock a level of procedural control that goes beyond just scattering objects. They allow you to build fully interactive, complex systems with ease. Whether you're crafting landscapes, creating motion graphics, or simulating traffic, Geometry nodes are a game changer, making even the most ambitious projects manageable. There's also cloth dynamics. Using Blender's cloth simulation tool, you can create some impressive effects by combining it with other dynamics like smoke. You might not know this, but you can use cloth and smoke together to create stunning visuals like a burning flag, ropes, cables, and so much more. On top of that, there are a lot of add-ons that have taken the cloth system in Blender to new heights. One standout add-on is Simply Cloth, which is popular because of its extensive cloth library. It has all the tools needed to create clothes from scratch, but let's be honest, most of us prefer to save time. So having a library of ready-to-simulate clothes is an absolute lifesaver. The number of dynamic effects you can create in Blender is nearly limitless but this should serve as a solid starting point for anyone new to Blender who wants to explore its potential. I've also created a playlist of tutorials for all the effects shown in this video so you can learn how to make them yourself. Additionally, I'm including a Blender VFX course in the description for those of you who want to master smoke and RBD simulations. That's it for today. Go out there and wow the world with Blender's dynamic effects. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.